Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I got one of the pre-release kits for the Lord of the Rings to Elder Miller. I wasn't able to make the pre-release, but I did pick up some kits. So we can open on the channel and check them out and see if there's anything good in here. So let's break into it. Uh, see if there's anything new. Or just the same old, same old. One ring to rule them all. So, so far it looks the same. There's a little bit of art on the inside of the box, which is different. Get your dividers and some tokens. Looks like four plus one plus ones and four of the ring tokens. Ring bearer tokens, I guess, there. Oh, there's some art inside there, too. Hmm, interesting. All right. Here's our dice. Oh, let's turn and give away any pre-release cards. Tastes like pretty cool. All right, so not bad. Got a black one, my favorite color. So there's that. Let's try and hide this until the end. a little blurb about building a pre-release deck 15 to 18 creatures five to eight other spells 17 lands and then your mana curve which you should try and put in there and it's a decent starting point but some strategies you want a lot more spells and less creatures some strategies you want less lands i always run less lands i never run 17 uh, i get landed out running 15 so i never run 17 <laughs> Most of the time I end up with too many lands and draw dead, nothing but a bunch of lands when I only run 15. So sometimes I'll run 16 if I've got a man heavy deck, but I never run more than 16. That's just me though. All right, let's see what we get inside here. That's our commons. We will be on the lookout for the uncommon Nazgul's, which are like 10 to 15 bucks right now. Forge anew for our first rare, a mountain and advertising starting off the worst possible way I think we could start off. Nothing good. Didn't even get a token. That's pretty bad. All right. Let's throw packs around. Okay. Cummins. Nobody cared about. Here's a, here's a fancy coming. Uncommons. Uh, nothing good. Display of power. Forest. Advertising again. Oh, first two packs are advertising cards. That's got to be a bad sign. <laughs> We're gonna have a bad time. All right, let's see. All right, another full arty. And King of the Oathbreakers and a foil Shagrat. And our first, our first actual token off. Okay, I found one of these in, in the bundle box and I thought it was a misprint because it had this perforation along it, but I guess it's not a misprint. I guess they just, I guess they just do that on these for some reason. Yeah, pull that back out then. <laughs> Put that aside thinking it was uh, a, uh, some kind of a print card on accident or something. But apparently they made it to where you can tear the card in half. I'm not sure why they want you to tear the card in half, but maybe maybe I just missed that information. Uh, Wizard isn't exactly forthcoming with a lot of information. Nope. Soar on the Dark Lord for our first mythic. And a smog token. So, yeah. We got a mythic. It's not too exciting, but we got a mythic. <laughs> All right. And Rivendell for our next prayer. And a food token. All right, one more pack. Only six packs in these. Um, not sure. We just, doesn't look like we got a lot of really good rares in here. Uh, so I'm not sure what colors we run just yet. Um, nope, no Nazgul's. Fair mirror, forest, and a food token. So what do we get? I guess we got, well, yeah, we got kind of a hodgepodge. <laughs> I guess you could go blue and white, maybe, <laughs> to see what the rest of the cards are in here. But our rares and our mythics don't look terribly promising for, uh, for building a good pre-release deck here. So this would not have been a good pack for somebody to actually play in, I don't think. Here's another one of these one ring perforated goofiness things. And your divider. And we got Labelia. Okay. Sackville Baggins. <laughs> that sounds like a, sounds like a pun. Sackville Baggins. Right. Come on. I think there might be more than one pre release card in here. I, I heard a rumor. So we're going to open it. See what we get. And we'll give away the code. Oh, there's a full art. And your uh, your actual pre-release card. Oh, there's they're both pre-release. 
We've got an uncommon fuller and a rare. Both got the pre-release stamp. And we'll go ahead and give away the code to somebody. There's a free code. Have at it. it. Feel free to pause the screen and, and take advantage of that. All right. So only one mythic. Not a lot of color um, <laughs> congruity in the in the uh, rares or anything. So I'm not sure how good of a deck you could build out of this. But hey, we'll see. You know, the commons and uncommons win the game when it comes to the sealed and, and draft. So we'll have to see what happens here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you got any questions about draft or sealed like this. And I'll try my best to answer them. And don't forget to check out the description below. Like the links down there. Save your money. Get cash back on all your purchases. Help out the channel to help you out. Win-win for everybody. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.